Hey guys, Geno Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. Haha, <laughs> whatever part of the world that you are in. Okay, I have talked uh, to a lot of people who sell solar ovens and people who have designed solar ovens. And I am I'm extremely grateful, don't get me wrong, don't, I'm extremely grateful for the products that you put out. They are wonderful, they work good. I have a Sun Oven Sport. I use the crap out of it almost every day through the spring, summer, and fall for something. Um, and I really enjoy it and it's very useful. However, having said that, you know, it was like $230 uh, and every time I try to save up to get one of the bigger uh, All-American Sun Ovens, they're you know, over $300, I'll try to start saving up for one of them. Something happens, life happens, and we got to use that money for something else. And we, there's just no, in my opinion, and I'm not, I'm not any kind of a Sun Oven neologist, I'm just a dude. There's nothing that's reasonably priced that works the way that I want it to work. I have a large family, so when I cook, I got to cook a lot of stuff. And a lot of the ovens and cookers are designed for small, uh, little things. And I'm not, I'm not small and little. I can't put this much in this big old thing and be okay with it. I can't do it. So no disrespect to the manufacturers and uh, producers of sun ovens, but dang it, I can't afford them. So I'm going to make my own. And what I would like is uh, you guys to watch what I'm doing here. And in the comments, you know, let's take an idea. Let's get together as a community. Let's throw ideas around so that we can improve this so that folks can spend just a little bit of money. You know, probably under $50, you can get all this stuff right here, which is what I'm going to use today. Um, and we can help everybody make a solar cooker that we can use, that we can afford, and that'll do the job that we want it to do. It may not look pretty, but... I'm not in the looking pretty business. I'm in the functional business, so let's get to it. What I got here is a turkey roasting pan. Uh, my sister Gloria, hi Glow, she gave me this. Um, it wasn't working properly. So, but what I want out of this is this inner sleeve right here. Now the rest of this uh, cooker part, we're just gonna set it aside. I'm gonna take this inner part right here of the cooker and I'm just gonna set it on the ground right here, just like that. I have a thermometer here on the inside. We're going to see in a little while if this thing even works and it gets hot. We're going to see what happens. But I'm going to put the lid on the roasting pan on the ground. Right here I have a, I believe this is a 30 or a 35 gallon, somewhere around that, uh, aquarium fish tank that has a hole in it uh, because somebody who shall name, uh, remain nameless that uh, happens to be big and wear a great Dickie's work shirt broke it. But anyway, uh, we're gonna find one. Everybody knows somebody who has an aquarium, has a busted crack tank. Uh, you can find them at yard sales. You can find them at Goodwill stores. You can find them, you can buy them pretty new. Uh, 20 gallon tanks should probably cover one of these. Uh, they're fairly reasonable and they are around if you look. Uh, same thing with the turkey roasters. A lot of people buy them uh, and then they don't use them. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this aquarium and I'm just gonna set it over the top on the ground. Just like that. Sitting out here in the sun, I washed it as good as, uh, you know, as as good as I could to make sure that it was clear so the sun goes through. Now we're just going to let this sit in there and, and we'll come back here in about uh, 30 minutes and we'll see what the temperature is on the inside of that roasting pan. And uh, this should be, it should get pretty hot because we got a good sunny day and it's warm. And like I said, I want to cook uh, and I want to I want to use it to roast, you know, I'm going to do a big pork roast or you can roast turkeys and chickens. but. I don't want to have to turn my oven on. I don't want all that extra heat and humidity in my house. Uh, it's going to make the air conditioning kick on. It's going to get hot. Uh, we got sun and the sun's free and I want to use it. So we're going to try this out and see how it works. And we'll see you in 30 minutes and see what the temperature is. Okay guys, we are at uh, the 30 minute ish mark. Uh, we're just going to see what the thermometer says. It doesn't feel like it's all that hot. Ow, that's hot. On the inside it says it's uh, just under 150. It's not getting as hot as uh, as quickly as I would like it to. So, let me think about this for a minute. Uh, we'll figure out some improvements. Uh, and I think probably what I'm going to do is paint the outside uh, around the edges black where it'll absorb more heat. And that will leave just this top part here uh, with the open glass. And then we're going to find something that, uh, that's black that we, can, uh, that we can put on the bottom. And all that should help absorb the heat. 
and uh, we'll think about this for a second. I'll get right, right, right back with you. Okay, guys, uh, we got our pan here. What I did is I just found an old piece of uh, tin uh, metal roofing that I had laying around. Uh, I used some uh, the the high heat grill paint, uh, grill refinishing paint that I had from when I made the barrels, uh, and I painted that black. And then I just painted the one back side of this aquarium black. I figured that uh, the sun would come through at whatever the angle it was, it would hit this and that this would absorb the heat. So we're gonna see how this works. Uh, put our pan back in here. We're gonna set our aquarium over the top of it. Angle that, angle that back black towards the sun. And we'll leave that set for 30 minutes and uh, see how hot that gets. So we'll see you in 30 minutes. Okay guys, it's been probably, I don't know, another 45 minutes or so. Um, and what I noticed is when I checked it a little bit ago, the inside of the pan was still only about 150 degrees. Uh, that's not, I'm not comfortable cooking there. That's not hot enough for me. So I took the lid off and I put a couple of just scrap boards behind it to give it a little more angle towards the sun. And it bumped it up to 175 just by doing that. That would probably work for slow cooking, um, but I want to see if I can get it a little bit hotter on the inside. So I think what we're going to do is take a couple of boxes and a, uh, one of the emer emergency space blankets and make a couple of reflector things uh, somehow to put on here. We'll go do that in a minute uh, and see if we can't get this up closer to 200 degrees. That is where I would be really comfortable roasting uh, anything at 200 degrees for a few hours. It'll be uh, that'll be just fine. So if I can hit that 200 degrees or higher mark. And we will have mission accomplished. So let's go make a, let's go make a couple of reflectors. I think I'll paint the ends of this as well, uh, the ends of this, because there's not any sun that's going into the end. So I think I'll I'll paint the ends of this black as well uh, while we're at it, and uh, we'll see if we can't get this baby a little bit hotter. So we're gonna make a reflector. Okay, guys, here's what I found uh, laying around the house. Here I've got an extra one of those emergency space blankets. There are a couple of bucks at, uh, at Walmart or camping section. Uh, I've got. These large rate, uh, flat, flat rate boxes from the post office. Uh, these are free when you go to the post office and get them in the lobby. I've got uh, some spray adhesive, a pair of scissors, and this is some of them uh, metal duct tape that I'm going to use to fix this to the tank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my space blanket out. Kind of get it unfolded a little bit. Lay it onto my cardboard. Just like that. Now I'm going to get my can of spray adhesive. I'm going to spray it onto the cardboard here. And this space blanket should stick right to this cardboard now since this is a spray glue type stuff. I'll try to do it as best I can without having a bunch of wrinkles on it. But it is what it is. Not a professional job. I'm just a dude. So we'll lay that on here. Oops, try to get it straight and wrinkle free. Like I said, this is I'm not by no means a professional. Just do the best you can. If you decide you're gonna do this, just do the best you can with it. Reflects a lot. There we go. Now it is glued to our piece of cardboard here. We're going to trim it, trim it off down here at the bottom so we can make another one the same way we did. The same way we did this one. Like I said, we just take our box right here at the joint long ways. Just split it in half, open it up. And we'll make another one the same way we made this one. And then we'll go try to figure out how to put them on that thing. So 
Back with you, man. I'll get another one made. Okay, guys, I got me a piece of that uh, metal tape cut, and I just got it hanging around my neck for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use this st real stiff tape and tape across the back and the front of this reflector. What I want to do is I can see where it's reflecting, so I want to put it uh, where it's right there on the side. And uh, I'm going to take this tape and secure this. Like I said, it's nothing fancy. It's just uh, trying to get a little bit extra heat in there. About like that or so. All right, so I'm going to take this tape now. What I'm going to do is, first of all, set it like this. Pull the paper backing. Off of the tape. And what I'm going to do is tape the reflector directly to the back of the aquarium here. Nope, it ain't pretty, it ain't straight, but neither am I. Alright, now I'm going to put another one across the front, and I probably will just get me a stick or something to use as a prop to prop it up, and that way I can adjust it, and I want to, you can see how it's reflecting, and you can feel the heat, and I'm just going to keep it leaning to where it's uh, reflecting the sun rays, more of the sun's rays, into uh, the aquarium here, and we'll see, uh, we'll put this other one on, and we'll see what kind of a... Uh, reflection and then additional heat we can get out of it so we'll see in a little bit and we'll see if it works okay guys we've been kind of messing and adjusting with this uh with the, the way we got it set up what i've decided to do was uh these two long reflectors i want to run them sideways to try to catch as much of that sun as i can so what i did is i just poked holes in these reflector pans with and put sticks through them and then what i got here is a rubber band that i'm just going to wrap around the end uh until it's kind of tight of this stick and you may be wondering what the rubber band is for well I'm going to show you that way you can just take and roll it down towards the hole that way it makes the stick bigger than the hole is and you can adjust it back and forth as the wind is blowing it all around of course we'll figure out a way to make it a little more stable but as you can see if you need to narrow it or widen it you can just move your rubber bands uh, in or out and that will uh, let you open them up and widen them up a little bit. So what I think we're going to do for stability is we got a little, a little another little stick right here just run through uh, this one rubber band that we've just kind of used it to kind of as a gauge. But I think that's probably what we're going to end up doing. We'll get another stick uh, for each side, and we will prop, uh, prop them up with the sticks run through the rubber bands. That way it'll make it a stable. That way if the wind blows, it doesn't blow your reflectors out of the way. And uh, now we're going to see if we can catch more sun to get more heat to uh, go in the top to see if we can reach that 200 degree mark. So we'll see what happens with this little uh, setup. And we'll let you know. Experiment, man, takes time. Hey, guys. Um, all right, I managed to get it up to a little over 180, uh, and that's as hot as I can get it. I'm going to have to do uh, a little more work on these, uh, making these a little more sturdy uh, and bracing them up so that the wind doesn't blow them down. Uh, like I said, I'll probably find some way, figure out some way to, to brace these to the ground. That way they don't move. Um, perhaps more little sticks or something on each side. Uh, but that's going to be a pretty simple fix. So let me know what you guys think. I would like to try to get this thing up to 200 plus. This is what I have to work with. Uh, you know, throw me some ideas in the, in the comment section down there. Uh, or make a video and post it in the comment section of, of what your idea is. Uh, if this is what we have to work with... Um, I don't want to have to run out and buy you know, anything fancy or anything like that. We just don't have the extra money. We want to try to take what we have and make it work for something useful. I, we could probably cook, and we're running out of the heat of the day, too. The sun's starting to go on the down arc. Um, so we could, we could definitely cook with this at 180. Uh, we just have to make sure we get it started early in the morning and keep the sun directly on it, and it would slow cook like a crock pot or something like that uh, for, for the larger meals. But anyway, uh, we're going we're gonna to end this right now, uh, uh, the experiment here. We're going to keep messing with it, uh, brace it up a little bit, and uh, you guys let me know what you think. So uh, I really appreciate all the, uh, 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 the comments, and I would appreciate all the ideas. So let's uh, put our collective's heads together and uh, see if we can help each other out here. So 
Uh, we'll stop it here. You guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless. The end. Buzz, buzz. The end.